I can't help feeling we should give a private round of applause too for the brilliant work of the BBC team, both television and radio, all 40 of them, from truck drivers to producers. Conditions are far from easy for them in Leningrad. All of them will have some wonderful tales to tell when they get home about the broadcasting of this memorable uh, but extremely complex operatic event. Uh, well, I'm very sorry we've had to leave that splendid production which went so well that it should have been spoilt just to those last few seconds uh, with those curtain calls. But there we bring to an end that production of War and Peace. Now, we shall be launching the 97th season of Promenade Concerts from the Royal Albert Hall on Friday with a live relay of the first night of the proms with stereo sound on Radio 3. Andrew Davis conducts a performance of Elgar's oratorio, The Dream of Garantius, with soloist Florence Quivar, Keith Lewis and Willard White in the presence of His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. That's at 7.30 on Friday night, here on BBC Two. The most beautiful thing in the world, Christopher Columbus called the island, the paradise of God. But for some descendants of Columbus who live there now, the paradise of God has become a hell on earth. Why should it be easier for a man to risk his life for the Fuhrer than for a king whose ultimate victory is certain? Most people that drive through here, they see farms. I see money. Everywhere I go, I see money. I see things. They can move. Anything can move. It's got my name red on it. My name, too. Yeah. Sunday on two. Now, with a further apology for those of you kept waiting for this next programme, we now continue our series on Irish music and its influence in America with the strain of the dance bringing it all back home.